Okay, welcome back. We're now going to do our first demo painting, and um, I've chosen a good little subject for us here. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a photo of Robin Hood's Bay, um, North Yorkshire, which is one of my favourite little spots. And uh, you see the little village in the foreground here, sitting on a hill. And you've got this distant mountain, and, the, and then the bay here of Robin Hood's Bay, a little bit of exposed sand there. Um, obviously it was lower tide and this fairly moody grey sort of sky. We won't make it quite so dramatic. Um, this first demo will keep it fairly basic, but I just like it as a compositional um, sort of structure. And it's a good little painting to, uh, to have a go at when you're getting used to watercolours. So I've got a sheet of A4 um, watercolour paper. This is the uh, from a pad, which is the Archer's watercolour. It's A4, 300 GSM rough. Okay, so that's the important part. I tend to, uh, as I've said previously, paint with the rough surface. And I've got it taped down um, to give us a nice border around the edge. And this is a good size to work on because I've printed out the actual subject here in A4 as well. So it enables me then to um, just, you know, pretty much directly copy this across, although I won't trace it or anything like that, but it gives me, um, you know, some good starting points. So what I could do if I wanted to was I could say, okay, well, that's the spot there where, um, you know, this embankment starts. And then that's the spot there where the hill side runs to. Okay. So using the same size paper as the photo reference that you've printed out, that's not a bad idea, right? So keep that in mind for the future. Um, however, I, as I said, I won't trace that directly. The reason why we're doing this one, I, I do think it's a good composition. It's got a strong foreground, and then it's got this nice headland in the distance, but the values aren't going to be the same. Okay, so this will give us an opportunity to practice our values um, shift. So we're going to use less pigment, um, and we're going to use a little bit more water, and we're going to have cooler colors through here. Our highlighted greens in the foreground here are going to have a, uh, they're going to be warmer and they're going to have less water in it. So it's more stronger pigment. So we need to keep that in mind. We'll, we'll play around a little bit with the sky. We won't try and make a replica of the sky because this is going to be a beginner demo that we're going to do. Um, so we'll just put in some greys and try and create a little bit of atmosphere, but we're not going to fuss too much on replicating that sky. And same with the water. We'll just keep that fairly uh, muted. We'll put in some sand in through here. We might run that all the way down to the bottom just for simplicity's sake. So it's a good little composition and um, I think you'll enjoy painting this one. Um, it's a seascape slash landscape and there's a lot we can learn about the painting process by, uh, by doing this particular um, painting.